Oh, hello, hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing? I see Glenn and Alice and Roberta and Irene. I see Diane. And, oh, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Did you say Alice? I said Alice, yeah. Uh, it's good to see everybody. I'm sure we'll have others join us here momentarily. I have lots of wonderful things for you today. Oh my gosh, it's been a busy week around here with the with the um, heartfelt creation stuff going on. My goodness, but I called in the troops, and Margie worked an extra day, and Brittany worked an extra half day, and Kat has worked her socks off, and every order in the system is out the door, despite the fact that we had a hundred and twenty some orders backed up in the system on Monday morning. Holy cow. <laughs> Hi, Sharma. So it's been a busy, busy week, but all your orders that don't have holds on them are on the way. Uh, I haven't seen Kathy Simpson yet. When she comes in, I need to make sure she knows we're still holding her order. And um, we're still holding one for Thelma. But, oh, and Roberta, I think. But... Everybody that hasn't said hang on to it, <laughs> that weren't the perfect posies, aren't those just the most adorable stamps in the world? Those perfect kittens just grab my heart. They're just too, too fun. And we have so many more wonderful specials coming your way. You will not believe all the good stuff we have coming. I want to start <laughs> with this one. I said it was coming. I didn't realize it would be coming in like 24 hours after I said we were out of these. These were already here. And in fact, we're going to have a lot of them because I reordered them. These were actually already here and in a box at Brittany's desk. So they got logged in right after I told you we were sold out on them. So let's go through the colors that we have in stock right now on the Lyrical Wax. Um, grab the cards off the table for me, please. I want to remind you about the really cool um, experiments that we did. Hi, Pam. Good to see you, friend. I always love that you call me Debers. It just cracks me up. <laughs> I think you're the only one. Who, I've had lots of nicknames in my life, but I think you're the only one that's ever come up with Debers. <laughs> and I like it. Okay, so we've got, let's see what they're called. Maybe they don't say. It says made in the UK. Good to know. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. These are made by the same company, guys. <laughs> the Pink Ink Lyrical Wax says down below, distributed by Creative Expressions UK. Guess who this one's by? <laughs> Creative Expressions. I did not know that. So there we go. All right. Oh, no, 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 Roberta. We don't want to even think about that. No, no, no. Okay. So Lyrical Waxes. We have the gold. I'm not going to try and tell you the actual names because I can't find them on the packages. Well, I'm sure they're here. I don't see them. But we do have the gold. We have this kind of bronze color. We've got the teal. We've got the pink that we used in our sample. Hi, Mary T. We've got the purple. I think they call it lavender. I really wanted to play with that one. And the blue. I want to do a hydrangea with the purple and the blue. Won't that be beautiful? I'm going to use the white pearl. And I'm going to tone the colors of both of these. And I'm going to make me a hydrangea. If you guys want to see it, we could probably do it on a Thursday night. Because I love doing this. But won't that be beautiful? Anyway, i got to make sure I have a hydrangea um, uh, Lisa Horton in. Because they go out pretty fast. But I have silver. And then I have that apple green. All the, the, in other words, I have every lyrical wax color. And then 
we just got in some more of the these don't see the colors on them either that's just unkind on the bottom no no we're on it doesn't tell me the color but we got this the turquoise color from gilded touch we have the gold the golden pearl color from gilded touch and we have the pearl from gilded touch so we have all of the colors and i think we have all the colors in of both brands so it's a good time to pick up gilding waxes if you want to i will tell you a little hint i actually have another brand of gilding wax coming too that is made especially for um to go on resins and things but i know it will work on paper and i'm just anxious to try some of this stuff out and see how it all works together so it's going to be fun i want to remind you about our experiment we did i'm so excited about our experiment i showed all my classes this, this week remember we in class last thursday we did the water lilies which i think turned out marvelously love it love it love it and then we used our um come on the um uh, ink oxides the distress oxides to do stenciling and i think this turned out marvelously i love the way it turned out and then someone on the stream said can you mix these which never dawned on me in a million years It'd be easier to mix them using the re-inkers, but we put some, some ink in a pad and we started mixing our colors together. And I wanna show you again what we came up with. Now, I'll turn that light over the ring on. So there we go. Look at the sheet we got in these roses by mixing the two. And that is not a true color from either the ink oxide or the paste. We mixed that up between the ink oxides and the paste and we got this. And look at the greens. We mixed the greens too. See that shimmer in the greens? Isn't that just the coolest thing to know that you can change the colors of the ink oxides, you know, using the ink oxides to change the color of the waxes? What fun we have. You know, I just love it that sometimes you guys will say, what would happen if, because I make the biggest messes sometimes and the greatest discoveries sometimes when I think, what if I, <laughs> what if I did this? And you guys do that too. And I'm all in for, let's try it. If it's a disaster, well, no, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> so I love the fact that you guys get in on the on the planning there. Okay, so ink oxide or the um, the lyrical waxes and the gilded touch waxes are all back in stock, and I think a noble card in the making. <laughs> okay. We have some Nellie's folders, which some of you have already discovered. These are selling out. In fact, I wasn't sure I'd get to show you before they were gone, but they're here still, and I do get to show you. These are 3D embossing folders by Nellie's Choice. I'll show it to you this way, and then I'm going to show you the picture on the back. Hi, Victoria. Good to see you, friend. All right. So here, this one is called, if they put a name on it, if they if they would just, this one's called Wild Roses. How beautiful is that? Wouldn't that be pretty with the lyrical pace on it? <laughs> Everything to me in 3D now is, how's it going to look when I put paste to wax on it? <laughs> okay. All right, and let me show you if you can come in really close. I mean, we can show them a, a darker picture. Come in really close, and this is the one we want to show right there. Whoa! <laughs> Let's see if we can get a good. There we go. 
That's what the wild roses look like. On dark paper. How beautiful is that? That's gorgeous. Do you know that, Roberta, that um, that um, uh, Graphic 45 has, has come up with a cookbook album kit? <laughs> okay. Here is one called Lilies. I think I only have one or two of these left because the lilies have been very popular. Okay, we're going to come in close again, honey, maybe. Yeah, here it is. It's this one. Let's see if we can keep from blinding them. And we might have to turn, well, there we go. I was going to say we might have to turn the ring light off, but we got it. That number 48 right there. There's our lilies. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. This one's really pretty. This one does not have, oh, well, it does have a picture on the back, but it's not a very good one. This one is a rose corner, and it's called Rose Corner 2. You got back up just a little so you can see the image. There you go. There we go. There's, that's actually a pretty good picture. The one on the back is not very good. We'll still zoom in on it so you can see it, but it's not a great picture. Honey, we're waiting Sorry. on your Hi, Jocelyn. Right here. Yeah, it's not a real good picture. Actually, it doesn't turn out too bad, though. You get in close enough. That's the rose corner, too. I thought my fingernails were in pretty good shape. Looks like I need to take a brush to them. How <laughs> do get in that close? It's not flattering. <laughs> okay. And then this one is called Lupins. Is it Lupins or Lupines? Lupins, isn't it? I don't think it's Long Eye. Lupins. And that's actually a pretty good picture. But on the back, we have another one. There we go. That's what the lupins look like. Those would be fun because you could do these in different colors. Aren't they often purple? The, the mountain ones, aren't they often purple? But do yeah, they come they in blues white. and whites? And They might come in blue, but I know white and purple. But wouldn't that be fun to do those in varying colors? Beautiful. So the Nellie's 3D folders. Beautiful. In stock and ready to go. <laughs> but not for long. <laughs> they are selling really well. I think I showed you this one. If I did, forgive me. But they're in my box, so I'm going to show you again. The Wildlife Blossoms. These are adorable. What about a background for a masculine card? Oh, I have a great idea. <laughs> She's answering oh, okay. Glenn's question about matte paper. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. A matte paper would be great with a sailing ship on it. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Yeah, there's lots of good ones. Put a roadster on it. There's lots of good ones you can do with matte paper for guys. Okay, Wildlife Blossoms. And these are in wonderful tags. The beautiful thing about the tags is that you get four, e four each of the different tag designs. And there's 12 designs in the pad. Internet says you're correct about lupine. Okay, hey, thank you, Kat. <laughs> um, Oh, that's Laurel. Hello, Laurel. Sorry. Thank you, Laurel. <laughs> okay, so the beautiful thing about this is you can use these for tags all year long. I mean, they're just beautiful, wonderful tags. I'm not going to open this because there's no way to reseal it, but I, you will see the images and some of the rest of what we're looking at. Okay. Oh, the, I love these. Oh, I just love this parchment paper. Here is the parchment collection. 
Now remember that with parchment paper, you see through it. So in the back, you're actually seeing the designs behind it. But when you get it out of the pack and you put these in front of especially white cardstock, but any cardstock color will come through. You put these in front of cardstock and these designs are just going to almost look painted. They really jump off the page. Hi, Betty. They really jump off the page when you put these in front of cardstock, especially white but you can do it with others too. There's that little hedgehog. He's kind of pointed downhill, <laughs> going the wrong way. There's a the little hedgehog and the beautiful little bird. I love the horse. I totally love the horse and the dog is really cute. All right. Okay, so we have those two. Maybe I should show you all the designs. Let me show you all the designs. Come in and look at all the designs here, honey. But I do love, 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 love me some parchment. See how in the pink sheet there you can see the single designs through it? That's the beauty of parchment is it will pick up the colors behind it. So if I wanted a more intense pink, I could put a pink cardstock behind there and it would make the pink on that cardstock just jump. If I want to really make the colors just blossom, I can put white cardstock behind it. And you have all these wonderful designs that you can use. Okay. Here are the individual patterns. Uh, back up, please. And no going to sleep. I know it's warm in here, but no going to sleep. You could open a window if you needed to. Okay, here's the butterfly. And what else do we... Oh, the butterfly and the bunny are on one sheet. Come on. It's like that overhead ring really makes it difficult sometimes. Go ahead and turn that off, please. Um, it makes it difficult to show you without blinding you. I'm not sure it's helping. There we go. Okay, the butterfly and the bunny. Here is the back of that package. Aren't they pretty? Beautiful. Here's the horse. I think the horse is really cool. And I believe that the horse is, to, oh yeah, the horse is together with the dog. So you have the dog and the horse on one page. And here's our beautiful foiled cardstock with the horse and the dog. <laughs> it's really warm in here. It's been a beautiful absolutely gorgeous day in Tigard and it's warmer than it's been so Bryce is always inclined to want to go to sleep on me it makes me feel so interesting <laughs> I'm glad you guys are more interested than he is because <laughs> okay this one has the cat and the mouse on it <laughs> seems a little Terrible to put the kitten and the mouse on the same one, but they did. And here's our kitten. <laughs> Roberta says, oh, come on, Debbie, let him sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was up at 6 a.m. Debbie's just been up since 12. I think there's a little difference in our time zone here. Okay, uh, this one we have the bird and the hedgehog is in this kit. I love this bird. How pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> and here's the hedgehog. Hey, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> okay. And here are our inserts. Now, this is one of those insert packs I just love because <laughs> Hubby fell asleep in church and they were sitting in the front row. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great message, Pastor. <laughs> okay, but this is one of those insert packs I just love because in addition to having the inserts, 
This also has some wonderful double-sided papers that match the collection. I always like that because it gives me even more surfaces to work with. You know, we always get more cards than we have cardstock. So I don't have to go looking at my cardstock collection. I just go to the double-sided papers to get my extra papers I need. Okay, that is it for the Wildlife Blossoms collection. <laughs> I think Margie must have put it back in my box because she loves that one so much. Okay, here's something new from Hunky Dory. We have exploding box card project kits. Come in on the picture, please. I don't think they're quite as big as the exploding boxes that we do with our box boards. The beauty is that you don't have to decorate any of the tabs that are already decorated. And these come with a variety of things that you can put on acetate to make floating, like floating butterflies come up through the middle of your box when you open it. So that's kind of cool. So they're not inexpensive. They're about $10. And it makes one, but they are pretty cool. And for a quick, easy, I don't have to decorate it. It's going to look fabulous kind of card. It's a good one. This one is called the Party Box. This one, I'll show you the back of that too. There's the back, so you can see some of the panels. This one is called the floral box. There's some of the panels. And here's some of the butterflies and things. It even make, gives you the makings for the bow for the top of your box. So it's pretty fun. It'd be a fun thing to try. This one is called the butterfly box. Here's some of the extras. Here's some of the panels. And all three of these have some components that you can put on acetate to kind of give a springy butterfly kind of feel to the inside of your card. Okay. And just in case you want to make your own and you don't want a box board, here's a kit to do five cards yourself. And it, it's all self-decorate, but all the pieces are die cut for you. So there's no calculating and making the card. It's all right here. So exploding box kit. If you guys would like to see one of these, I could probably do one of these for you on a Thursday. What do you guys think? By the board? <laughs> yeah. I tend to agree, Glenn. I'm, I'm a pretty avid advocate of that board. That, that board is... I want the white kit, Deb. I do type one. Ex, do I... I want the white kit, Deb. Do I type one exploding box kit? Oh, um, let me give you a number. This will be really easy to find. Are you ready? Demo isn't needed. Thank you, Alice. Oh, but Roberta says yes, please. Well, you guys keep voting. <laughs> I can do them on a Thursday or I can skip it. And um, The number for the white kit is EX box 501, no spaces. So I have two yeses, one no. Three yeses. Three yeses? Okay. You guys want me to do one of those? I can do it for you next week. Let's do that. I'll put it on my agenda. We'll do it next week. Okay. So EX box 501. And just so that you know, the others are EX Box 101, 102, and 103. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Hi, Victoria. 
I think I said hi to Victoria before, but I'll say it again. Okay. What do I want to look at next? Um, I want to tell Thelma, especially, who requested these. This is the fussy cutting book for the Sparrow Hill. These are cut-it-yourself designs, but there are hundreds and hundreds of images in here that match your Sparrow Hill kit. If anybody else wants them, I have a couple of them in stock. They're the 6 by 6 Sparrow Hill um, fussy cutting book. It is number CBQE053. And it's actually called the Fussy Cutting 6 by 6 Pad for Sparrow Hill. <laughs> Are those kits under new listings? Uh, everything, should, all of this should be in the new listings for April. Yes. Okay, Stephanie. We will definitely do that demo for you. Then you can see what's in the kit. You know, even if you don't need instruction, you'll at least be able to see what's in the kit and whether you think it's worth it. Okay, I'm very excited about these next ones. I don't even know where to start. But I think I'll start with this one. We have had a lot of people making baby books. It must just have a baby boom. Cold winter? I don't know. There's a lot of people making no spaces. But that's it right there, though. The second one down, yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of people making baby books, and we are sold out right now of the little ones, uh, Graphic 45 album kits. I'll get more, but it's just in time, if everybody's making baby books, to take a look at this. These are so cute. This is the baby book from... Ciao, Bella. And look at this. Look at these images. They are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we'll come in close here so you can see what's in the 8x8 pad. Oh, they're just adorable. Really, really cute. The characters are just really fun. I also have the, it's always confusing with these because they make a 12 by 12 book and then they make a 12 by 12 pattern pack. This is the 12 by 12 collection. And then I'll show you the pattern pack next. Now remember, you could always cut these down into multiple pages. Hi, Annette. We were just looking at baby stuff from Chow Bella. It is an adorable collection. What's it called? It is called My Tiny World. Look at that elephant. And the owl with the moon. Oh, so cute. Kind of really like these splashes of color on this one. We have lambs and foxes and bunnies all holding on to bouquets of balloons. Can you come in a little bit so you can see that pattern? This is 12 by 12. Look at that pattern. Aren't they just so cute? Oh my gosh, they're cute. <laughs> These are nice heavy papers too. Okay, back up a little, please. There we go. It's like, grab a balloon and join us. This reminds me of what the way we painted Jordan's room in the other house. 
when Jordan came, we didn't know if she was going to be a boy or a girl. So we did Winnie the Pooh and we did half walls and we did blue walls with clouds and balloons and Winnie the Pooh characters holding on to the balloons. And so cute. It was adorable. Look at this mama and baby bunny. Oh my God. Lauren assures me someday I'm going to have a grandbaby. I told her she needed to find a good man first. <laughs> Not just a donor. We need a good man. <laughs> and then that's when I told her I made a deal with her boss. <laughs> the lady that runs her department. She said, well, we got her all graduated. So what's next? And I said, next, we got to get her hooked up with a good man. And she said, oh, yeah, that's important. And I said, yeah, I can take care of the home front. Can you watch out at work and make sure she's only talking to suitable men? And Amy said, I got you covered. <laughs> she starts messing around with anybody that's not suitable. I'll take them out, she said. <laughs> Lauren did not appreciate finding out that her mother had that conversation with her department head. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's fun. See, complaint. Annette, <laughs> we are soulmates. We really are. If not twins, then at least soulmates. <laughs> Isn't this just the cutest set, guys? I just can't believe how cute this is. Look at all the little cards for the invitations right there. <laughs> Good lady keeping an eye on her girl. says. <laughs> I couldn't be more proud of her progress in all the other ways, but she doesn't necessarily have a strong track history with men. So <laughs> getting all the help we can get on that front's good. <laughs> and here is, note the little postcards at the bottom. That's the back of the cover sheet, but you can actually cut it. You can use the entire cover because we've got all these beautiful images on this side. And where the advertising is, we have three more images at the bottom. This is just a gorgeous collection. I just love it. It's called My Tiny World by Chow Bella. And I think it's very timely because, like I said, boy, are baby albums popular right now. <laughs> Really popular. Okay. So we've got My Tiny World. We have that in 12 by 12 and 8 by 8. I don't know if we need to actually open this one. Maybe we do. If you want to see it inside, I will be happy to do that. Otherwise, we'll just take a scan. But this is the My Tiny World. 12 by 12 patterned papers. I love the fact that they create extra backgrounds, lots of extra backgrounds. This one will not be as much scenes as background papers, although you do have this beautiful image. And then you have these great backgrounds. Come in a little bit even further so they can see what those backgrounds are. There we go. And then I'll move it across the page. So let's start over here. Little houses, carousel horses, more of those characters holding balloons. We've got some pretty tags and cutouts on that sheet. We've got all background, just kind of assorted backgrounds, gifts, more tags, sorry. 
more tags and potential potential cutouts on that one. More hot air balloons this time. Yeah, more hot air balloons. And then a diamond pattern. So those are really cute. Now this one, I do have to show you this side. It's got fun little sayings. You know, um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you know how loved you are? <laughs> Let the adventure begin. Be happy. And that's pretty much the sayings they repeat. Beautiful. So this is from Chow Bella, and it's called My Tiny World. And we have those available right now. Also from Chow Bella, and I'm very excited about this collection. The last time I showed you guys one of these collections that was just outstanding, we did the um, we did the Stamperia, wasn't it? Yeah, Stamperia, the Garden Journey, Garden whatever, and it sold out in a couple days in the twelve by twelve. Well, this one I think is equally beautiful. This one is from Chow Bella, and it's called Bloomy. This is the eight by eight set. Come in close and we'll look at this one. And then we'll look at the individual pages, which should be very similar, if not identical, at the 12 by 12. Look how beautiful. Can we see the paper from this, please? Yes, I will show it to you. I assume you're talking about the blooming Diane. If you want to see it, I will... I will absolutely open this one up. If you're talking about the patterned papers, write patterned papers in your comment. And I'll go back and open that one. Just gorgeous. Okay, we have this in the 12 by 12 pad. And here it comes. Oh, I love this one. I saw this one in the catalog. And I thought, we have, we must have it. We must have it. And this is called Blooming. Blooming. We're looking at the... I have to put this on a different sleeve. It's got really tough tape. This one's called Blooming. And here we go. This is just so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Here's the 12 by 12. Can you make it just a little bit bigger so you can see the whole sheet, please? Okay, there we go. There's the cover sheet. And Chow Bell, again, remember, there's no throwaway. There's no throwaway cover. We have two-thirds of the sheet is on the front. And then we also have cutouts on the back along that advertising strip. So there is no waste at all in this. This is just stunning, I have to say. Wowzer. Okay. Look at this with the watercolors dripping and then those, those uh, butterflies. I love that. And the flowers at the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? Now, see, I get that effect with watercolors, but it's not always intentional. <laughs> And here we have an all-over all petite floral design. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I look at these roses, and I just think I must have. I must have them. <laughs> I look at this, and I just see, I see all the cards laid out in my mind. <laughs> I'm ready to work. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. So beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous, Roberta? It was from Chow Bella. And, you know, Chow Bella's papers are very reasonably priced for what you get. Oh, they're just really quite reasonable. And look at this for cards. I looked at that last page, and I saw cards. They would make fabulous albums, too. Don't get me wrong. They would be beautiful, beautiful albums. But this would also be spectacular for card making. 
And then we have journaling cards. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Frame the whole thing. Huh? Just frame the whole thing. Yeah, Bryce says he wants to frame this. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? And then look at the dried flowers on the back, the pressed flowers. I always think that's a, an amazing look. Look at this one. <laughs> I just love it. This is called Blooming from Chow Bella. Just beautiful. Then we kind of almost have that scales or retro sort of pattern on the back of that one. Yeah, there's still a lot in this pack we haven't even seen yet. <laughs> I'm in awe of what we've seen already. Beautiful. And then we've got the kind of splotched paint on the back. This would go excellently with Heartfelt Creations. It's kind of the same basic, beautiful, elegant patterns. Look here. <laughs> My gosh, they just keep coming. I have not seen this one all the way through yet, so I'm discovering it as you are. Look at that wreath and then that border design. How gorgeous is that? This one. This one's just too beautiful, too. Look at that. With the tea kettle and the pitcher. The floral design in the corner and then the little butterfly. Flower. Flower simply bloom wildly. Just the little dot pattern on the back. Yes, this is still one kit. Here is here are the panel, the card panels. These are four four by six. You could use these as an accent on a larger page. Or when I look at them, I see cards. These would go right onto a five by seven and they would be fabulous. There is a lot of paper in this pack. I'll tell you how many sheets. And look at this last one. Look at that. With the violin and the butterflies and the gorgeous flowers. It's backed by a... Send a link for this one, Glenn says, please. So let me give you the number. Just all straight through without any dashes. It's CBPM066. This is one each of 12 double-sided papers. It's 190 GSM, acid-free, lignin-free paper made in Italy. That's it. Absolutely spectacular paper pack. Let's look at the other one that complements this. It's called the Blooming Pattern Pack. And if you are album making, the Pattern Pack extends your background choices. That's, I think, the basic gist of things. That is just one really gorgeous paper pack, I gotta say. Really, really beautiful. There we go. And this one is the Patterns Pack. It's more along the line of backgrounds to go with all those beautiful focals we just saw. You get another 12 sheets. You get eight sheets in this one. It's also less expensive. So, But look at this. Look at that beautiful focal right there. And this one for borders. 
How gorgeous is that? And then you've got this beautiful butterflies. See, I look at this and I think four by six, four by six, and a nice big card. <laughs> I still see it as a card maker. But look at these. You've got this beautiful floral design and floral design. And then you've got alphabet tiles. You've got six by six patterns. The, the price on these Chowbella papers is really quite attractive. Look at this one. Just look at that. Doesn't that make you need this paper pack? <laughs> it makes me need this paper pack. You might link this one too, honey. Let's link this one for him because it's fabulous too. CBT 066. CBT 066. Uh, no, that's the 12. That's um, sort by relevance. It should come up first. There you go. That's it, it the first one. That one. This one's 1149, guys. 1149 for this one we're looking at right now. And Bryce is putting a link up for you. Isn't that amazing? Sometimes there's some die cuts. Well, not die cuts, but there are cutouts in their, in their paper pack. We'll look and see if there's any cutouts here. There are some. On, there's beautiful ephemera-style designs in some of their rice papers. I bring you what they have in the collection, but look here. Some gorgeous tags and labels. All with those roses. Isn't that something? Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Do I sell the cutter, the great the green one I use? I do. Out of the biggest ones, but I have um, the cutter pillar crop. Uh, we'll link that for you in just a minute. If we don't link it here, I'll link it in the newsletter. But I, I believe we have them listed on the site. I love my <laughs> cutter pillar. Look at these borders with those beautiful roses. Oh, my gosh. Wowzer. And look at that background. Oh, my gosh, it's pretty. <laughs> Glenn says I had to order before Annette got them all. <laughs> Look at this one. Isn't this just beautiful? Now see if you're if you're a scrapbooker, you know exactly what to do with that because you got lots of working space in the middle. If you're a card maker, don't be afraid of that open space. It's perfect places to put some of those tiles and tags. It's beautiful. You could make six beautiful cards out of this one sheet right here. <laughs> I knew you guys were going to like this because I just oohed and odd when I saw it. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, this is the eight pack. And it's eleven dollars and change. You're just not going to beat a deal like that for this quality. And this paper is very, very good quality too. Really beautiful. You're going to love it. And remember, we started with that, but I want to go back there. If you don't have room in the budget or in your stash for the twelve by twelve. We got it in eight by eight and it's equally gorgeous. It's just shrunk down a little. Oh, and look here. They sold this alphabet to match that set. Look at this. Come in on these alphabet, honey. Look at 
Look at these alphabet stamps. Even if you're not regularly a stamper, if you're doing an album with this pack, how beautiful would it be to use these alphabet with that gorgeous floral design? You get all of the alphabets plus an ampersand and then some little accent flowers. See there, there's the ampersand. It's all capital letters. Like borders at the bottom? Yeah, I didn't even notice that. There's two borders at the bottom. I just think this is beautiful. Whether you want to just monogram it or whether you want to add a name to a page, add the word mom, add a person's name, put the word baby. They're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I don't buy a lot of matching stamps to the sets, but I just thought that with these flowers integrated with the alphabet, they were especially beautiful. Okay, here are a couple of other Chow Bellas that are from the same collection. This is called Flourishing Surround. Uh, can you back up a little bit, please? Sure. <laughs> I love you, Pam. You see her? I need that cutter dab. Every time you use it, I throw myself on the floor in a tantrum. I'm so jealous. Well, I'm going to have to take care of you, Pam. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you taken care of. <laughs> Look at this beautiful rice paper, guys. And once again, if you want to make these colors just pop, put these rice papers in front of another, of another color. You know, if you're going to use the rice paper on wood, paint your wood white. You know, if you want to soften the colors even more, paint your wood you know, light gray or light blue. But me, I'd want to intensify my colors. I'd put it on white. But how beautiful is that? Whether you're going to use these, you can actually use these rice papers as accents in your scrapbooks and stuff too. You can go right over it, put it down with some, um, with some, come on, decoupage paste, um, Mod Podge. Put a little Mod Podge on your page where you want to put it down. Put your rice paper down and then Mod Podge over the entire page. It'll be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Here's another that matches the collection we just saw. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. And these you could actually use the entire wreath. I, I look at this and I want to make a clock out of it. Look at that. Wouldn't that be a beautiful clock? You see that opening in the center, and I think, oh, baby, I could make something gorgeous out of that. But um, if you wanted to, you could actually cut all those flowers out individually, too, and use them in a million different things. Oh, you want to link that cutter pillar for her? They do say I have it in stock on the store, so. Can you guys take any more? Can your hearts take any more? <laughs> um, will you please, once you're done there, will you please grab the um, Hunky Dory Peacock cards off the table? Okay. Well, if your hearts are up to it, I have another outstanding collection for you. Oh my gosh. Just outstanding. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. We have Gnome Sweet Gnome. And they are so cool. Let's just put those right here in the center, if you would. <laughs> we made 10 cards in class the other day. And then during my table time, no, I had crafty friends on Sunday, which is just a gathering time for local people to craft. We all sit around the table, tell stories, laugh a lot. 
And um, during table time, I finished my my peacock cards. So I thought I'd show those to you in case you guys want some ideas for the balance of your pack. And if you've just been thinking on it and you haven't gotten your shit, it might just be enough to tempt you over the edge. <laughs> okay. Gnome Grown with Love is the name of the first topper set. Let's take a look here. Come on in, huh? There we go. Whoop. There we go. Look how cute. We have spring gnomes. A lot of times you see winter gnomes, but you don't see as many spring gnomes. And this is a whole collection of spring gnomes. How cute is she? Her little wagon and flowers and the flower border. Number one. Here is gnome no one quite like you. Shake that down a little bit so we can see as much as possible. No one quite like you. <laughs> and here's another one. Look at him out there in his garden. His flower pot. <laughs> this one has little die cut shapes. This is really cute. I want to show you the the card sample with this one. This is really cute. Okay, come on in on this card sample, please. Look at this. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh, happy birthday, Pam. Okay, and here, look at this. All, okay, back up again. The whole garden so that you can use that paper to position your gnomes however you like. Here we've got gnomes with their gardening tools. <laughs> Here's the gnome with her little rose trees. Okay. This is the gnome um, luxury set. It makes, they say, at least 16 cards. We all laugh just a little bit because we know we could get way more cards than that out of this. But it has two each of the topper sets we just looked at. It has lots of card ideas on it for you, the two front and back design ideas for you. <laughs> they have gnome acetate. And it's kind of hard to see what you're getting. I could maybe find a piece of, well, that's not really enough, but. I'll make it enough. <laughs> okay. You can't really see these through the package, so I'm going to show you what you get in the acetate pack. Here we get butterflies and dragonflies in gold. On the back you have silver. And it looks like you get three or four of those. <laughs> you get gnome outlines. You have enough gnomes there. You could actually cut that into two full card bases or more and color those yourself. That'd be fun. Um, you could use alcohol links to color right on the acetate. And you get three of those. It looks like no, four of those. Then you get gardening utensils. 
on both sides. Watering cans and spades and little trowels and and then you get all over flower patterns. Four of those. So that's what you're getting in the acetate pack. I love that you get the actual gnomes themselves in there. That really expands your possibilities with that pack. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> he always loves it when I hand it to him. Okay, we've got gnome inserts, and once again, they have double-sided papers in the insert pack. Really expands your background choices. There's one of your double-sided papers. Okay, here is Gnome Sweet Gnome Adorable Scorable Selection. And this is the Gnome, Sweet Gnome, Foiled Edge-to-Edge -edge Mattastic. All these papers are foiled edge-to-edge. -edge. And you get green, red, yellow, and brown. You get 16 sheets in total. Here's two of them. Gorgeous. Also in the Gnome Collection, you get the gardening tools. Look at the gardening tools. <laughs> A whole pack of gardening tools. I couldn't believe this was one pack. MDF shapes. They put 60 shapes in a pack. <laughs> They'll just be gnoming for a long time. You have gnome stamps. Come in close on these. Actually, this is great. Here's the color image. I like to show those because it really shows the potential. There's, oops, there's this stamp. This stamp. Wishing a day like gnome other. There's gnome place like home. And gnome grown with, oh, gnome grown with love. <laughs> Yeah, this would be a great one for some of those gardening tools. Okay, we're almost done. If you want to see the um, Hunky Dory cards and what we're doing tomorrow, stick around. If you don't have time to stick around, come back and look because there's going to be some beautiful things. Also in the Gnome Collection, we have the Little Book of Gnomes. It's the, I think, 5 by 5 and it's got 150 pages featuring 25 different designs. <laughs> These are fantastic. Even if you want to just make a, maybe you're not a gnome person, but you know someone who is making a set of note cards for a gnome lover, wouldn't that be fun? If you just had this and the little gardening implements, <laughs> you could just do all kinds. You could go to town making cards with this. Isn't this sweet? Oh, my gosh. If you're a gnome lover, you're just not going to rest till you have this one. Little Book of Gnomes. <laughs> Not sure I'm hitting every single one, but you'll have a real good idea of what we got here. Look at her little heart mouth. That was cute. I love that. Where is blue? 
flowers his butterfly in his green and blue hat. <laughs> it just amuses me for some reason. <laughs> I love the bird sitting on the brim of her hat. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of images in here. Lots of sentiments at the back. It's like cards waiting to happen right there. And finally, in the gnome collection, we have cutting dice. Look at this. <laughs> Even a die cut set. <laughs> The words say, there's no, there's no, no one like you. <laughs> you can tell those are big, rich, beautiful dyes. That's the gnome collection. Let me show you. Oops, we're still not done. I have a quick bit of hard felt to show you. I'm going to show you the paper pad from the Garden Iris collection. Everything else, virtually, we might have a few stamps, but virtually everything else in the Iris Garden is sold out. So let me show you the Iris Garden collection paper pad. I'll keep this one since I'm going to keep one of these. Put the unopened one in. I can get it open. Might take the paper pad out of that pink. I wanted all collection there. We'll put it in the, in the basket. Okay. Iris Garden. It sold out before I could even show you on what's new Wednesday. That's how fast this went. But we do have the gorgeous, gorgeous paper pads still in stock. Of course, you get two pages of each. Look at those beautiful designs, guys. with this garden scene. Isn't that beautiful? So even if you don't have the dye, it's in the you would, uh, we do still have a few of the stamps, but even if you don't have the dies, this is. <laughs> oh, Pam, we'll combine shipping. No problem. Just say for your second order, just say local tigered pickup. We'll know what that means. We're not going to expect you to show up to get it. We will combine your orders for you. <laughs> So go ahead and get what you want, and we'll combine your shipping for you. No problem. Now, if you do have the dies, you can cut out these pieces. But if you look at this, this is not impossible fussy cutting. This is actually pretty good fussy cutting for these iris bouquets. So even though I don't have the dies, these would be beautiful and easy to cut out. And you could actually take these images and layer these up and do some 3D. It'd be beautiful. So don't be afraid of that. Here's some pieces you can cut out if you want to, to fussy cut. Or you can use the beautiful green tone paper in the back. You've got some 6 by 6s and some 4 by 6 panels. I think this is a stunning paper pad, too. Four 
four uh, six by six. Six by six. Isn't this amazing? Look at these tags. Tags and labels. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper collection. Set that over with the pink bag, if you would, and we'll trade that out. So I have the one that's open. Okay. After looking through the Sweet Magnolia paper pad, I didn't initially buy the Sweet Magnolia bouquet die-in stamp after seeing them done in the book. I added the Sweet Magnolia bouquet and the Sweet Magnolia die. They're beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. Sweet Magnolia buds. Candidly, in some of the pictures, they don't look that beautiful, but I was looking at some designs that were just created by Memory Box and Magnolia Branches, and these are beautiful. So I added those. I got just a few of these before they sold out on the Heartfelt Creation site. They're already gone there. I have, I think, three or four of them. This is the Lacy Diamond. This one has been retired since the earth was cooling. And the other night I was going through the Heartfelt site, and I found where they had buried these in the closeout section, and I found them. And I ordered all they had. This is the Ariana Blooms die and um, stamp set. They're gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And long, long retired. Now we've been having a two for one sale on our gateway, on our gateway dies. These are the gateway dies we've been selling two for one. They're supposed to sell for $34.95 each. We've got them buy one, get one free. That sale is ending on Friday. If you don't have it already, pick these up. They're a phenomenal buy. They are just some of the most beautiful background dies you're going to find. Really, really, really beautiful. And you get them right now, two for the price of one. You're not going to beat a deal like that. So these are the gateway dies that are currently two for one. That sale ends Friday. We have just a few. Again, this is completely retired. You can't get it anymore. We have a few of the ornate ovals. And... I wanted to tell you that we have a nice supply of these. For those of you who are getting the gateway cards, these card blanks are three-part card blanks that are sized to perfectly fit your gateway dies. There's a gateway stamp, and there's a bunch of gateway dies. The only two that won't fit these are the, uh, the extra wide palace garden and you'll know which ones I'm talking about. There's two extra wide ones, but there's eight of the gatefold dies mm -hmm. that will fit this card design. And we have this paper pack available on the store to match those. Okay. So the gateway die sale ends Friday. If you want them, grab them. They're an amazing deal. And I don't know how soon I'll have them again. Okay, two more things. I want you to see here. I'll tell you first what we're doing tomorrow. For those of you that just really have to go. And if you want to come back and look at the rest of the peacock designs, you can that way. But tomorrow, um, Roberta had requested that I do the glitter and glaze class again. These are not the cards that we're doing tomorrow. This is the style that we're doing tomorrow. I'll show you the patterns in just a minute, but this is the style of cards that we're doing. I call it glitter and glaze. 
Here's another glitter and glaze. This one was, that was done on rice paper. This one was done using a napkin. This one was done using a napkin. When you put on the glaze, it tends to really um, it intensify the colors and they're just fabulous. Here is another one that was done on a napkin. We haven't done this for probably a year or more. So um, I, um, when Roberta mentioned it, I thought, you know, that's a great idea because we just haven't done those for a while. This is one that's just done with the glaze and not done with the glitter. But you see that shiny, that shiny um, surface on there? I'll tell you how to get that when we do our class tomorrow. This is what I thought we would do in class. This is a parasine. Can you back up just a little? And then I might have you come in again so they can see them up close. But this is a scene from Paris. Lady walking her French poodle with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Two lovebirds with a cathedral in the background. This one says Metropolitan on this entryway. And then a bicycle leaned against a wrought iron gate on a street corner. This is called... No V cards. This is what I thought we'd do in class. I have three recommended ones for you, however. This is called Blooming Cards. I know you're going to like this because you guys just fawned over the Blooming Pad. <laughs> this is another suggested one for the um, rice paper. Um, for the uh, rice paper glitter and clays. And this is another one. This one is called Indigo Ephemera. And we've got the peacock and we've got the bird, which is beautiful. Look at the bird from the side. You, you have to kind of see him. Here is the dragonfly. And then we have the beautiful flowers in the corner. So we also have the indigo. <clears throat> Those are all rice paper sheets I recommend for this technique. I think we'll do the Paris cards in class, but I haven't decided for sure. You'll see what you see tomorrow. But that's coming up for tomorrow's class. Let me finish showing you the peacock garden. We have just a few of these left. You want to link this for me? Peacock garden. It's number DC pad. One, two, seven. I don't know which ones of these were from class and which ones I just finished, so I'm just going to show them all to you. I got 20 cards in total from the 1999 pad, and it also comes with inserts. I didn't finish inserting them. I ran out of time, but I have inserts in some of them. Here's the first. Come in a little closer. There we go. Okay. Number one. I'm just going to go through these. I'm going to hold them long enough. You can get a snapshot or stop your video if you want to. Number two. This does not have an insert in it. Number three. Some of them do have inserts. Number four. Does not have an insert yet. Number five. I will have kits for you on those too. The kits are not up yet, but I'll have them up tomorrow. Six. Aren't these beautiful? Seven. What looks so busy in the book just looks stunning individually. Eight. Nine. 
nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Didn't insert that one yet. Fourteen. Fifteen. A little narrower slimline card here. Sixteen. It does have an insert. Seventeen. Look how I did that one. I cut that ring in the center in half. So half the card has it and half doesn't. I think that's pretty. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine. Twenty cards from the set. Inserts are in the kit also. Wowzer. <laughs> so there you go. There's the examples of the rest of the cards I thought you guys might enjoy seeing. Well, I have held you extra time, so I am not going to fool around here. We should have been done 22 minutes ago, but we did have a lot of great things to look at today. Do you have any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? Any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? If you like what we were doing here today, be sure you hit that like button. I love it when you do that. It makes me feel good, and it lets YouTube know that they can trust referring people here. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can tell we have some beautiful stuff that we talk about and um, continually show. Hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss a single episode. And refer us to your friend, your crafty friends and neighbors and relatives. We sure would appreciate our your support of our small family business and share our YouTube channel. There's a lot people can learn there from our more than... 600 videos <laughs> that are out there, 600 videos and live streams available for people to go back and access. So yes, we will have, I see the Roberta's comments about the glaze and the glitter and glaze mixes. I will have those up tomorrow. If there are no questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'll see you tomorrow night, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern. And that's it. Good night, Gracie.